Hi, I'm Tiernan Ray with Barons.com and Barons Magazine, and this week I've been at the Consumer Electronics Show 2012 in Las Vegas. The night of Sunday the 8th kicked off with CES's traditional dog and pony show for reporters called Unveiled, where a ballroom at the Venetian was filled with free drinks, hors d'oeuvres, and all manner of gadgets. Of course, there were the traditional gadgets such as laptops and tablet computers, and one of the most popular exhibits at Unveiled was Lenovo's booth. It was so mobbed with reporters, it was hard to get a sense of what exactly was being shown off until you pushed your way through. But there were also an increasing number of examples of lifestyle electronics at this year's Unveiled. For example, the startup Nest, one of whose executives is Tony Fidel, sometimes called the godfather of the iPod, showed off a smart appliance, the learning thermostat, which remembers how you like your home at different times of day. So for example, if you turn the temperature up in the morning and then turn it down when you leave, the Nest will remember that and make that change on its own in future. And a French company, Wythings, which already has a bunch of connected appliances under its belt, showed off what it calls the world's first internet-connected baby and toddler scale. It gathers your baby's weight data, sends it to your iPhone, and then you can use an app to track your baby's weight, make a chart, or even send the data to your pediatrician. That's being yeah, so this is the last one that I measured. So obviously... But the real action got underway on Tuesday the 10th, here at the Las Vegas Convention Center, the main exhibit floor. That's where you find the gigantic booths set up by the biggest tech stars such as Intel. Intel was showing off a new concept in laptops that it has corralled its hardware partners into creating, known as the Ultrabook. Microsoft, which is expected not to have a booth at all in coming years, used this its final CES to talk up Windows 8, the next version of its operating system, which is expected to hit stores this fall. And there was a lot of talk of 3D television sets, one of whose killer applications, supposedly, is video games. And just in case you were worried that you might look, well, a little silly in 3D glasses, not to worry. The show also featured rows of designer 3D glasses in just about any style you'd like. But the real stars of this year's CES were television sets based on organic light-emitting diodes, so-called OLEDs. They're extremely thin at just four millimeters thick, thinner than an iPhone, and give a picture that is, well, extremely beautiful. It seemed the picture takers could not get enough of them. For Barons.com and Barons Magazine, I'm Tiernan Ray.